Coach, uh, you talk a lot about you know your team fighting and, and kind of finding a way to win. Does that feel like that's what happened tonight? Oh, no question about it. You know, uh, I, I thought Northern Colorado came out. You know, maybe not the first possession, but after BJ got on them, I thought they put more energy in us in the first half. And I thought our team responded and played played really hard. I mean, I think we out rebound them 18 to nine in the second half, and and I thought really that was the difference in the game was that we were able to to lock them down, hold them to one shot. And, and make it tough on them to score. I think you look back in that second half, they threw in three three-pointers that were deep and very well contested, um, you know, and, and we hold them to 38%. Um, so I, I was I was happy with our defensive effort and our rebounding effort in the second half. Got, got it done at the, at the free throw line, uh, found some, uh, some three-point uh, success with some other than, than Chad. Kind of feel like you guys are figuring it out offensively now without Nick. Well, uh, you know, Jake came off and made a bunch of shots. Uh, I thought we did a good job executing our offense. I thought our point guards did a good job finding Jake. Uh, and I thought our, a couple of times our big guys did a good job finding um, Jake open and, and, and he knocked him down. Jake's a good shooter. He's, he's been a good shooter his whole life. Um, like I told him, I, I, I tell the guys, you know, this before the season starts, everybody in this room, uh, when I'm in the locker room, obviously, is going to help us win a game. And, and tonight, Jake helped us win a game. Um, uh, I'm not surprised he made those shots, to be honest with you. He's a hell of a shooter. Um, I'm not surprised that we're shooting good free throws. We're a good free throw shooting team, and and uh, you know chosen our stats. Did you could you feel the energy at halftime? Because you guys were down double digits, you know, and then Jake, you know, been like five minutes, hit four of those shots. Well, this game's in, you know this game's so much about momentum, and usually when you make shots, you play a little harder, and that's what happened. We were able to make a few shots, and then we then we played a whole lot harder. Um, you, you know, I don't know if I felt any different energy than I did before the game. Um, you know, I, I thought we uh, played with a little more spirit in the second half, that's for sure. So a lot of Perry Young was, was suited up pregame. Well, were you maybe seeing if he could go? or you just No, no. He, they've allowed him to run around uh, without any defense or anything on him. Um, and, and so we, we put a uniform on him and, and let him warm up and do some of those things. Uh, we'll, they'll reevaluate when we get on Monday and we'll see where it's at. But um, it, it, he's, he's, he's getting where he can run now. Um, you know, it's not a full speed, and you know, it was just something that that he could do without mm -hmm. re-injuring it. Are you, are you fairly confident Vic is going to be back this season? Yes. Yeah, I think Dale. We're probably looking at a couple more weeks for Vic. Uh, it's healing good. We'll get an X-ray again on Monday, and you know, uh, keep your fingers crossed. But I'm I'm hoping to have him back after the Portland State, Sacramento State weekend. That would be. That would be good. You know, they gave us three to seven weeks. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that would be week number four. Uh, so, you know, I'm probably be a little too optimistic there. But but it's healing really good, and we'll know a lot more on Monday on both those guys. But uh, I'm hoping, you know, we, we can get Perry on back on Monday, but we'll just have to see what the docs say. Seems like the guys are pretty well aware of where they are in the standings. I mean, is that important for you? To... Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, every game is important, you know. Now uh, we're going to fight like crazy going through uh, February here. You know, there's a lot to play for in this season. Uh, you, you know, you can't just wait for the conference tournament to play. Uh, we, we need to grind this out. We need to get us the top four seed. Uh, we've got Eastern, who's ahead of us in the standings, coming in. We've got Weber, who's ahead of us in the standings, coming in. We've got Iowa State, who's ahead of us in the standings, coming in. we got some great games. Uh, North Dakota, who's tied with us in the standings, coming in. So we got some... We got some great games, some, so, and we got we got to play our tails off. There's a lot to play for. Top four seed. There's postseason to play for. Um, you know, uh, and this team has a chance to, if we continue to grind, uh, has a chance to win 20 ball games, and we haven't been able to do that for forever around here. Seems like uh, so, someone new uh, stepping up, uh, helping you guys win again. Like you mentioned, someone's going to. Can you kind of feel who it's going to be, maybe, with how they practice leading? Uh, no, I can't feel it. If I could feel it, I'd put them in to start with. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's just one of those things. Uh, you know, uh, one thing I'll tell you, uh, Michael, is, is the guys have been practicing really hard. You know, and, and, and that's that's what happens when you practice hard and compete hard every day. And, and uh, no, I had no idea Jake was going to gonna shoot the ball like that tonight, uh, but I'm sure glad he did. Maybe, I know you have a, a plan with your rotation, but was it tough having him sit for, for eight minutes in the second half knowing how hot he was? No, not really. Uh, I mean, uh, Chad had played good basketball. Uh, he's played really good for us. I mean, Chad shooting a great percentage. Uh, Jake had played well. And, uh, y you know, uh, I didn't realize I said he made minutes, but, uh, no, it, it, you know, that's kind of a feel thing. And, and um, like I said, Chad's played, played good basketball all the way through.
Obviously, Chad actually hit a couple real big shots there late in the second half. Is that maybe some, some veteran moxie coming out? From yeah, you? I think so. Uh, you know, Ch I don't know if you can consider Chad a veteran. He hasn't played a ton of minutes here, but he has played a lot of minutes lately. Um, yeah, he had a couple big shots. Chad's confident in his ability. He's a good player. Um, so, you know, just happy those, like, like Michael said earlier, we found some, some three-point shooting tonight. That was, that was very nice. Anything else for Coach? Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. See you, see you Saturday. Thank Thanks, you. Yeah.